let anything happen to you. All right, guys, welcome to episode 76 of the Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. guys are having a bit of a discussion and we just fought Don't our way that. into <laughs> Walker's Gate. Um, yeah, I don't think these people are very happy with me. I just killed a bunch of guards to get in because they were worshippers of the Absolute and I was listed as uh, public enemy number one so they attacked me and I killed all of them and it was glorious. So um, first things first, let's go to camp. And we desperately need a long rest. So let's do that. Um, and then figure out... Oh yeah, let's talk to this kid again. We gave her a couple gold coins. She said she brought her cat. Um, hi. It's me, Yana. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before and um my mum hasn't come back yet she might come later i don't think she's coming could we maybe stay here yes we can play one a cup her life's so nice come back in 10 years of course you can stay in it pick a spot settle in I will say that I wish there were actually consequences to like having the kids stay. Like maybe instead of 40 food, it takes 42 every long rest now. You know, something like that. Oh. This is where we end the day now? Kind of interesting. Let's read this letter from Arabella, our little tiefling friend. The ink is still fresh, the letter is drawn in careful hand, in a careful hand. Hey you. So I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, uh, you let me stay at your camp, and for another another, you found out what happened to my moms and pops. I'm on my own now, and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me, and as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'm headed there first. Anyways, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. Arabella. Hey, maybe we should look for her. Oh, she can join us here. We may yet see her again. I hope so. I really liked her. She was sweet. Cute kid. Oh. Oh, shit. It's Vlacketh. Queen Vlacketh. Scrum! You are her Charlotte. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains! The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlaketh's rule? Seems like a challenge to me. Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlacketh, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. 
Nozel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. Um, connect with Wisel's parasite, commander of dragons. This is your destiny. Stand your ground. Don't fall for black. It's lies. Keep silence. We don't want to do this. Uh, she means forever to turn her back on black. It's, she doesn't want to do this. Um... I'll just keep silent. We'll let her make the decision. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word your word is nothing you are nothing the kithraki will bring you i will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death i will consume you Yeah, no, I don't like her. That was, I feel like, the correct response. So good for you, Lizel. Um, Karlak has an opinion. Um, Lizel obviously has an opinion. And Shadowheart doesn't. So let's start closest and talk to Karlak. <sighs> Soldier, my engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look, we've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. You don't think we'll find you a cure? With this heat going, I can't spare the energy to think. Ugh. I just want to enjoy whatever's left of this life of mine. <laughs> anyway, it could be worse. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, with who I'm meant to be with. How many people can say that? Damn, I really want her... I really want to find the solution to that thing. <clears throat> And I'm concerned that based on things I've said previously, that might not be an option. Hopefully I haven't made that impossible. Lysel, what's going on? In my heart. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Yeah. Um, let's do insight. I need a six or better. Hell yeah. Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. 
Maisel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was. Yeah. Passed and can never be again. That tracks. You're grieving the future you'll never have. Blacketh took everything from you. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. Not your will. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, a new allies. Blacketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tremar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. You've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus's cause. What about your own needs and wants? Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Damn. Blacketh promised to make you the bot Blacketh. Sounds impressive. Blacketh's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Blacketh won has a bot to Blacketh been anointed. Damn. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. What's next? We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus tough King Narsin. All right, well, there we are. Um. I don't see many other options. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakis. But all things considered, good for her. Yeah. Could have said the same about you and Char not too long ago. Um, let's talk to Gail. How's he doing? Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority. Giselle <laughs> did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Is Mr. always such a demanding goddess? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. Damn. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like. To be a god. To know yourself. To be untouchable. To be mistaken. Hmm. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, oh, entire weave. I know the story. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. 
By dying, the entire weave was lost. Destroyed a city. The challenge to God failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire yeah. civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. Yeah. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Yeah, so um, in Dungeons and Dragons, the highest level spell that you can cast is a ninth level spell. And Carsus tried to develop or create a spell that would make him all powerful. And it was it's considered in D&D lore to be a 10th level spell. And when he cast that spell to become the god of magic, uh, he didn't realize what the goddess of magic was doing to keep the weave. Uh, and so in doing so, she became unwoven, the weave became mad, and then the floating cities of Netheril, who were floating because of the magic that they were imbued with, was no longer working, and all the cities came crashing down. That's what Karsus' folly is. That's... That's funny. Wow. Good references, man. This is... God, the writers in this game. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell, <laughs> Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus, not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. How are you feeling it can't be easy facing the possibility of death? Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. The truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. It's kind of a grim outlook, I feel. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. Okay. Uh, Halson, you're fine. Uh, Asterian, what do you got? So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. Speaking from experience, right? What do you intend to do about Cazador's uh, ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Cazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. He'd risk exposure. Hmm. Raphael is playing a dangerous game, giving you um, Mephistopheles secrets. Mephistopheles. Interesting. Mephistopheles is one of the lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course. Who can say? True. All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. So be it. Vlakith's a fearsome one. The sort it's hard to say no to. 
But Lazelle said it anyway to her immense credit. She's choosing truth. She's choosing freedom. For her, for Orpheus, for the Gif Yankee people. <laughs> I wish I knew a good Gif Yankee cheer to celebrate the occasion, but the only Gif phrases I've picked up are the sweary sort. <laughs> We're nearing the city. Are you excited to return? Reluctant? A little bit of both? Baldur's Gate is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14 and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Portier's bushes. It's where the flaming fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it, too. It's where my father taught me to hold a rapier, to read books of law, to know right from wrong. It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home, and it's worth saving. All right. <clears throat> well, let's get some sleep and head back into, um, or head into Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I feel like with the kid, it should be like one more, and with Isabel and um, a uh, Aelin, it should be like they should be two each, or something. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Give it meaning. Whoa! A vision in my dreams. Put on the lady costume. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. Good. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Ketherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Ah. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. Makes sense. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus contained submissive slumber come you may as well sit a while now that you are here your company isn't unwelcome <clears throat> what are you doing trying to guard us the brain is restless but I am distracted and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Someone from your past? Indeed. Duke Stillman. Or as I knew her, oh. Lillian, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. How so? In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmain trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, 
we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. Damn. But now, she is gone. I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. No, we're not that close. We'll show him some respect, I think. Thanks for sharing. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. Sorry. I know it is no easy choice for you. But we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Interesting. Yeah, we're we're not gonna take the illicit form. It's just it's not happening this game. Not the type of character that I'm playing. <clears throat> you know, is it? It is what it is. Um, it's a new day. Usually, people don't want to talk again during the day. So let's get out of here. Shouldn't be anything over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Why does one crossing have so few lot ins? We need at least a double deck. How about the flop house? It has plenty of There it goes. Oh shit. Why? God, I hope I'm not just like kill on sight victim number one now, because that would be very annoying. Path is interrupted. Okay, just move in a little bit. Get out of there. Let's have some fun. Asterion, let's have you go here. And... Okay. Got to concentrate. Karlak, you're gonna... Just run in there and wail on this guy. You're not gonna like this, mate. Oh, we got him with a crit. Hell yeah. Okay, then come block the door. You can come over here. Fifteen, hell yeah. Uh, 
Wow, the one person I didn't want you to attack. Off balance. Okay, well, Karlak's gonna finish him, so... Yeah, go reckless. Ooh, almost finished him. Okay, well, Shadow Heart can... Need to act fast. Uh, actually do it. There we go. Okay. So there's still an enemy up here. Careful, I bind. That's what I meant. Thirty. Whoa, hang on a second. I didn't realize it was gonna be that hard. Uh yeah, we'll take that. So we need a 17, 14 to 17, or 14 or higher. And there we go. That's all we got. Does not seem nearly worth it. Um, I think we're... I mean, if we go up here, we're going to be the only enemy up there, and we're just going to take him out, so... Oh, climb the... You fools. Just this guy, right? Yeah. And Karlak's the first to go. Can't you climb the ladder? Interesting. Uh, can we bonus action pounce? This. Save. Okay, that's fine. This. Really? Jeez. All right, Shadow Heart. Can't afford to let up. You should be able to just. Oh, really? Okay. Well. I missed this. Well, on. Done. Oh. All right. That should kill him if you hit him. Really? Uh, they don't have a reaction. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Balazar. <laughs> Just a range attack is all we need. Open up. What's up here? Ooh. We'll take these, send to Asterion. Can't slow down. We'll take that. Morningstar, Glaive, yeah, we don't need any of that other stuff. We can get over here. Metal shield, wooden chest. Great. All right. Down we go. That one. Pleasure house. Den of decadent delights. And if a patron refuses me for a member of staff, I probably break his nose. Goodness. Huh, they're hiding something. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Hmm. Why 
finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Sure, let's see what you got. Oh, literally, he gets that fish. All right, well, I don't need that. Come back soon. Fresh catch every day, guaranteed. Okay, cool. Um, this is a flop house. Better off sleeping in the gutter than that than a property. Traveler Griska. I found so many victims for Casador here. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Oh yeah, it's just a flop house. Okay. Couldn't think of what a flop house was, but now that I'm looking at it, I know what a flop house is. <clears throat> you can't get there. Get down there. And then come out here. That was weird. All right. I would really like to. What do you have to trade? Fruit, vegetables. What can I do you for? Literally just fruits and veggies. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Okay. If you're hungry, you know where to find me. Okay. Double doors. What is this place? Uh, Dan Fulon's dancing axe. What does dancing axe sound familiar? I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> you told me the armor was a bargain. It was! Welcome to Danthilon's dancing axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Huh. Okay, let's see what you have to sell then. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. Ooh, this is a high brow place. Be of service. Oh, okay. We'll have to. That's where I heard it. We'll have to get her to come with us. <clears throat> Let's see. Heightened maneuver targets have disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuvers and weapon actions. Nice. Horns of the Berserker. You gain plus two bonus to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. Nice. Unarmed and melee attacks will deal an extra two necrotic as long as you don't have your full health. If you don't deal any damage this turn, you take. Ooh. Take one to four necrotic damage. Okay. The Blightbringer. Attacking gnomes and dwarves with this weapon receive. Ooh. Okay. Brutal. Slow the target on a crit. Humanoid slaying. Aberration slaying. At the beginning of the wearer's turn, the cloak activates, granting enemies disadvantage on attack rolls that target the wearer. It uh, the effect lasts until the wearer takes damage. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. <clears throat> Mountainous poise when using patient defense. Oh, okay, we don't we don't use patient defense. Okay. Some pretty cool stuff here. Hide armor. Mellow harmony. Oh, it's like a bard thing. Okay. All right. I don't think we plate armor. Ooh. Okay. I don't think we need anything from this guy just yet. Uh, maybe these gloves and this. What is that helmet? Um. Oh. Yeah, we should absolutely do this. Yeah, we should absolutely do this. Um, 
Get rid of all that stuff. Get rid of that. Come on. Alright. We're buying this. 368. Short father, bless you. Okay. What a snake fang. Oh, it's literally a snake's fang. Okay. All right, we'll have to come back here with um, Jahira. You want to dance? Hell yeah. What does it look like? Ooh. That's cool. We'll keep that visible. Have a lot on my mind. And... Um, Carlac, though, you got to keep holding this. And you can hold that potion, too. <clears throat> I've got another step forward. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. <laughs> Real subtle lady. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, we don't need it, but. Whatever you're working on, hope that fixes it for you. Yeah, thanks. Oh god. If it ain't broke, it's because we already helped you fix it. Okay, let's quick save. Cause killing one of these guys was pretty tough. Killing three borderline not possible. Um it looks like Yeah, it looks like getting into Baldur's Gate proper is going to be a bit more challenging. Um, oh, well, maybe not. Okay, I did just quick save. Let's go ahead and talk to these people. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't go poorly. Very well. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. The Book of Vile Darkness. Um, let's do this one. I'm here to protect Archduke Elect Gortat. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. An assassin is in pursuit of Duke Ravengard. I need to warn him. I could do that one. Although I do like using the Warlock option if possible, so let's do that. My Deception. Ooh. Okay, we'll use Friends here. I don't care. Still tough, though. I have to... Oh, I have to crit. There's just no other option. Bummer. Yeah, we're not gonna... We're not gonna use our... Uh, inspiration here. Actually, I don't even think I have one. Maybe I have one? Shove your book somewhere, vile and dark, if you don't stop wasting my time. Okay, let's do this. 25 is still pretty hard, but I get 13. My persuasion is much higher than my deception. Natural. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, yes, the, uh... Orphans Fund. Whoa. You can pay me directly. I'll make sure to pass your gold to the orphans. 
I'm sure you will. That's a lot of freaking gold. Gaining access will not be easy. We must either earn an invitation or find a route where we can pass unnoticed. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, well, it looks like we're not uh, just walking in on this one. Come this way. Yeah, there's not an easy way here. Wow, this place looks awesome, though. That's not what I want to do. I want to do this. I don't know what the heck they're going to try and do to make that happen. Oh, this door I can open. Alchemy and potion shop? Styling... Styling horse? Okay. What a name. Now here's someone who appreciates the finer things. Welcome, sir. Stop. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. <laughs> Delicious, no? Yeah, dude, you're a little eccentric. I thought someone was burning raw shit. <laughs> Glorious, those are some heavy top notes. Aren't they just? You clearly have excellent taste. What can I do for you, sir? Great. What do you have for sale? Oh, quite the establishment you have here. I must say, I'm rather proud of it. The wood paneling cost a fortune, but it's so worth it for the lux atmosphere it provides. <laughs> Jesus. What have you got in stock? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Okay, this is really good. Level four though, too bad it's not level five. Um, invisibility, viciousness, invisibility, um, fly resistant necrotic, wizard bane, minus one penalty to damage. Plus one bonus to, uh, damage and attack rolls. Okay. Dark vision. All right. Nothing too. Nothing too crazy. Be sure to savor each purchase. Savor each purchase. Wow. Yeah. This guy's something else. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> okay. Can we walk back here? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's open this door. Hello, citizen. Dancing axe. What else do we have over here? Oh, I have to put my hands on everything. What's this? Carms, carms. With you. Weird. Carmen Pennygood? Who are you? Enjoyed it. Sir, I have not... Oh, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Carm's Garms. I'm Carm. Well, Carmen. <laughs> what can I do you for? Let's take a look at your wares. <laughs> Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. Ouch. Ooh. Well, shit. <laughs> I am actually all about this.
Okay. No, we we can't do this right now. Remember, Calms Gums here for all your fashion needs. Wow, look at that. Just like all the yards of Oh, let's read this. Ideas for new outfits. No, that's not quite right. You're making me feel really Ankle scarves. <laughs> ankle scarves. Oxbow ties. Bucket hats. Could be fashionable. Is place your cloak hard to source outside of circus? Uh face ruffs? Two person waistcoat? <laughs> that's funny. Wicker chest. Oh, we'll take that. Thank you. So kind. All right. Who's this guy? Oh God, who's this? Put him up. Put him up. What do you want? Yay! You spoke to me. Nobody ever talks to me. My name's Narber. Adventure to be, soon to be the best adventure anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Um, maybe pick a different career. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. To tell you the truth, I don't actually like hurting people very much, or, or getting hurt. Oh, jeez. Good job I ran into you. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here. Uh, is this? God, there's just a ton of stuff up here. Wait, can I enter? Okay, yeah, let's just come up here, I guess. What's this? Double doors? Oh, this is it. This is what I needed. This guy. Hey, detective idiot. For another case closed, another bottle open. Hazard of Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. I'm afraid so. I found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? I found a lot, in fact. Uh, who's Devella? My assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? I spoke to both corpses. They were killed by a dwarf dressed in red. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling, hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. How about a group of shape-shifting assassins under the temple, along with more murder victims? While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, does it? How about That's the what fact... you need if Ugh. you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. A reason, too, if you're at it. Why was Logan killed? Well, I found the murder weapon you missed in a tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? 
could be to do with how he was helping the refugees. <sighs> I'm not sure. Look, if you find something definitive, come back. Until then, leave me to my drink. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do a little bit more investigating. Oh, this guy's a freaking heel. He sucks. Okay, there's someone else here I think I need to meet as well. Citizen. Whoa. Oh, there's Arthur. We need to talk, dude. Um, hang on. I think... I think I read these originally as, um, Asterian. So I want to make sure I read... Everything is Balazar. <clears throat> okay, I think that was it. Just those first two. Nine hells! You followed me all the way here? What could you possibly want with me now? I found some rather sinister things in your basement. For starters. Sinister? <laughs> Nonsense! Those are experimental toys, guaranteed to bring a smile to the face of even the unhappiest child. They're extremely precious, and you shouldn't be poking around in my workshop and tampering with them! Yeah, you locked the basement, but it didn't help. Whatever you're up to, it ends now. I'm taking you down. Um, That's weird. I'll get to the bottom of this one way or another. Really? There's no this? And nothing to get to the bottom of? Can I not confront him about the letters that I have? I haven't got anything else to say to you. Leave me alone. Do you think you can manage that? Huh, interesting. So I guess I haven't completed either of those. A bit surprising. All right. Mamzelle Amira and Hoots Hooligan. All right, let's talk to Mamzelle here. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance, no decadence. Nice. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your blood. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive, or oh, have I misjudged you? Whoa! <laughs> Not what I expected. Can we not talk about this? Sweetie, are you blushing? There is no shame in pleasure. Even less when the pleasure is pain. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Jeez. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin.
Yeah, nah, not what we're looking for. But you hoots hooligan. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's caress. I'm not sure what can hoots do for you, stranger? if that's an insult or not. Got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Your new brew sounds potent. I'll give that a try. And it's gonna freaking destroy that, me. Chunk. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. I'll take my chances on the hooch. Ah, the man knows what he wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Jeez. Bit of barkeep in this place hears all sorts of stories. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. Hmm. Hoots Hooch. Alright, what's this? A hundred gold, jeez. Alright. Well, let's come out here. And I'm going to... Well, first let's quick save. And let's see just how much this stuff's going to knock me out. Oh! Wow! That's a dangerous beverage. Wild magic. Okay. Well, I think um, on that note, we're going to end the episode. We are at uh, just over an hour. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, maybe we'll talk to these two when we get back and see if they need some help. There's seems to me to be an endless number of quests here um and then maybe uh maybe we can find a way into uh the fortress we'll have to find a way across the water first and it seems to me like uh going back to the temple heading back down and underneath maybe there's something over here so until next time look at her dancing uh, let's go ahead and create a new save, and until next time, peace.